when I came across Nikki de St. Phil's painting, my immediate thought was, that looks like Africa. Uh, I have been doing art since kindergarten or before, but um, kindergarten is the defining experience. Uh, I painted a sailboat in kindergarten. And I looked at that sailboat and I was like, that is a good sailboat. Um, but I was never very good at art. And I couldn't really make things look like what they looked like in reality. So my trees didn't look like real trees. And just because I didn't have that skill or know the technique or understand. And so my dad always used to tell me that I could be an abstract artist. I am in favor of making art. And really enjoy the creative process as well as the opportunity to collaborate. I presented the idea to Duncan and found it sounded great and so we decided to start one day and Duncan built these boxes. So he used like two by fours and plywood and built two just sort of shallow box structures and we bought some glue and some plaster collected some found objects, some light bulbs, wine bottles, clothes pegs, old tiles, attached some fabric from Africa, put on some different colors that were meaningful in different ways to us, and then we covered it in plaster. And we ended up using wall filler to fill in a bunch of the bunch of the gaps and that actually mixed better with water and we created a pouring effect with the plaster to cover the bottles and things. So once everything was sort of secured and smoothed down and made into more of one object, um, it was like it was all generally white and we spray painted it a finished white um, and that was, that was one of the steps and then on the day we took it out to shoot we drove out to an abandoned rock quarry and filled the bottles and the other objects like the ceramic mugs and such great paint. White bulb is gone. Working up, working up to that experience was something unique in itself, um, and doing it with friends. So doing this with Duncan and having Amy and Silas come out and shoot the painting with us, um, with the help of Duncan's dad, and the process of doing art in community. When when you talk about an idea, there's always the possibility that that's where it stops. That that you just talk about it and nothing actually happens. And so when, when we actually like, started putting stuff together and it's like, this is happening, that was, that was a good day. I grew up with a thought, thinking that I would be an abstract artist one day. And here I am. <laughs> it, it really represents hope. In the midst of chaos, there's still the potential for beauty, for color, for 
creativity. Yeah, and having building something, creating something, and putting your time and effort and resources into it, and then destroying it to actually bring it together. Uh, art's never finished, it's just abandoned, or in this case, kind of just destroyed, and then you walk away, and it's bittersweet.